Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to channel. Today we're touring one, two, and three units here. These are townhomes built by Lenar in Inspirata. This is the Venetia community, about 1,800 to 1,900 square feet. Now, in addition to these three that I'm going to show you today, we also have another two floor plans that I've toured. All you have to do is go onto my, uh, onto my channel and search for the Franklin floor plan, which is the next gen option, beautiful floor plan. If you want a duplex, you want one mortgage, and you want to rent out part of the house that does not, uh, you know, that you have your own door to it, then that would be the perfect floor plan for you. And then there's also the Finley floor plan, which is a nice 1600 square feet house. It's probably the smallest one out of all these townhomes. We're going to tour these three all in one video for you. Uh, right in front of me here is the Wreath floor plan. This one, is, these are all going to range around 450 to 460 uh, it's, uh, as far as uh, price of the house, 460,000. That's going to be the price out the door. We do have two units on that side. They're going to be around 430 to 440. Obviously, this is what they're asking. I'm not saying that's what they're going to go for. Everybody's going to pay a different price depending on their negotiation skills. So if you guys, by the way, if you guys, uh, before we get into this, if you guys want a realtor to represent you and be with you to negotiate on your behalf to get you the best deal possible, someone that knows uh, these uh, these uh, model homes like their pockets, then definitely uh, reach out to me. I would love to be your realtor to represent you throughout this transaction, okay? All my information is down below in the description. After all, my services are free to you because the builder pays for my commission. Let's get into this model. The Wreath Floor Plan, R-H-E-T-T, -T, it has a nice balcony on top that is also covering your entrance, which is nice. You have a little patio area right here. Now, in the back, we have a garage on that side, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, we do have the garage side and then the other two actually have the other two floor plans actually have a little backyard as well so that's really nice but pretty much everything around 450 is what they're asking for i don't know if it's worth that much but they're located in uh, inspirata by the way guys inspirata is a master plan community uh in uh, henderson we have a really nice neighborhood out here if you guys are interested in that feel free to go and check out uh, my video of me driving through inspirata i'll leave a link up there but um but yeah really nice floor plan here as soon as you walk in you'll find your living room over here to the left that's where your tv would go and then nice open space it does feel a little bit crowded here in the dining room but still it fits an eight foot eight, an ac table so that's really nice for the square footage kitchen island overseeing that living room and a nice cabinet uh, set up right here in the corner and it also has a little pantry right there GE appliances, refrigerators included. You also did your microwave and dish uh, and push and stove. Also your dishwasher. Everything is is included, just like you see it. Mowing faucet with the pullout and also your undermount sink. We you get your uh, here your Honeywell Home uh, thermostat. This is also programmable and it also comes with your security system. It has a camera. Um, that's already included in the price of the house. This one downstairs will have its own bedroom downstairs, which is really nice. And then you have the walk, uh, the, the side in your closet, access to the garage on this side, which it is a two car garage. This is going to be their sales office and then, you know, a door, but that will be the garage door. And then it has some extra storage on the side for a nice bench or workbench or whatever you want to do or storage uh, for that matter. Downstairs, we have nine foot ceilings in this unit powder room over here actually it's not a powder room we have the shower also in the back because we do have the full bedroom downstairs so this is perfect i mean in this court footage you get a bedroom downstairs that's genius from the art to do but that's why i see a little bit of square footage missing downstairs here i feel like it could have been a little bit bigger but i mean i'm just complaining I'm just trying to picking uh pick something bad about this unit maybe the price around 450 is going to be tough Let's see, as soon as you walk upstairs, you'll find a nice loft. It's a really good size loft. You get some extra space here for a nice desk. If you want to put some kind of uh, cabinet or something here, that'd be great. Then you have on the left, primary bedroom. Then on the right, we have the other two bedrooms. You will see them really quick. Now, Lenar has this thing where everything is included, but not everything is included. The washer and dryer are optional. Then you get a rack on top. Uh, you'll get tile in uh, all the wet areas, carpet upstairs, and then downstairs you'll get some kind of flooring, whether it's luxury vinyl plank or tile. As we go in here, we'll find the first bedroom. Good size, 10 by 11. 
Ninth foot ceiling is also on the second floor, so that's a nice feature. Second bedroom out here, actually a little bit bigger. It's like an 11 by 12. That's nice. Every room is gonna come with the lights already, switch over here, and you get the bathroom here. It's gonna be shared between those two bedrooms. I think they have an option to put in a second sink. In this one, they only put in one. And then that's the fiberglass enclosure tub and shower combo. Now, this one comes then with three bedrooms and a loft. That's nice. Actually, sorry, four bedrooms and a loft because there's one bedroom downstairs. Perfect for a family. If you don't need a backyard with these ones, this is perfect. Full bathroom over here, even has a tub in it. Fiberglass enclosure, really nice. Pretty much everything you need would do it would be a great rental as well if it wasn't for the HOAs being a little bit too high because these HOAs are around three hundred dollars a month and that's a little bit too high in my opinion. Uh, although it is a beautiful neighborhood and you do get access to community pool, a community pool down here that is only for this neighborhood. But then we have uh, community pools outside, you know, pretty much throughout Inspirata. And then when you get a townhome, what happens is you have the walls in common as well as your roof. So uh, the roof is gonna be covered by the HOA, and that's gonna be part of that $300 that I mentioned, as well as all the amenities that you get up here. Now this, as you can see, that's the name of the neighborhood, uh, of the community here. Neighborhood is Inspirata. Nice unit you're gonna get. I think this is a carrier. Yep, carrier, nice, uh, nice brand. And we go in here to the Reed, which is 1,900 square feet, 1,926. Two bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms in this one. Now this one has a way bigger downstairs. Although I think the pantry is right there, but this is spacious. As soon as you walk in here, this is a huge couch. And you see how much room you have between the dining room and the living room. So a lot more spacious. Uh, downstairs open floor plan. It is a little bit bigger as well. That would be access to your two car garage. It's pretty much the same size as the one that we saw downstairs. I mean, next door. Then white cabinets, which is another option. Now, the way it works here, everything you see is what you get, but they put in, they grab a house, they build the spec home, and uh, they give you a price for it. That's why I'm not giving you an exact price. I'm saying around 450 because what happens is uh, once you go there, they might have a house that is 450 or maybe one that is 430, depending on what they put into it. Maybe in this one, for example, they elevated here the backsplash, so they brought this nice quartz out all the way up. That's also an option that usually is not included, so that will be added to the base to the price of the house total. But depending on what they have available, obviously there's always room for negotiation. So if you want a realtor that can help you with that. You know, all my info is down below in the description. After all, it's a free service to you. All my fees are paid by the builder anyway. Uh, powder room. Every time the builder see, oh, there's not someone without a realtor. Oh, nice. I'm going to make more money on this one. Because they know people are not educated about the market and how much these ones are sell for. Going upstairs. Now, obviously, this one has the option where it has both uh, all the bedrooms upstairs versus the other one was four bedrooms i really like that one a lot more huh no loft look at this one huge bedrooms though huge closets as well nice you got a little door here you can open it to Let in some breeze in the morning, get a nice uh, breeze coming in with the beautiful views if you get a nice lot at the end like this one. Now this is the one of the units. That could be at the end. So keep that in mind. And then we have right here. And there's a and it could also be in the middle, by the way. And then you have uh, Fiberglass enclosure, tub and shower, two underground sinks. 
Huge water closet. After all, 1,900 square feet. What are you going to do with it, right? A lot of wasted space in this one. Not wasted. I guess it's nice to have more space. So this fits the the need for someone that needs a big bedrooms, right? And a big open space downstairs. And this is perfect because you don't need, let's say, four bedrooms like the one next door that are small. You need bigger bedrooms like these ones. I mean, this is like a 14 by 17, which is really good for a townhome. Yeah, 1,900 square feet, two bedrooms. They could have fit four bedrooms in here. But look at the amount of space. This is awesome. So a very comfortable two bedroom, nevertheless. Also balcony. Look at this other balcony up here. This is nice. So pretty much two primary bedrooms is what you get here. And they're all spacious. I showed you this closet, right? Yeah. Nice. I don't know if I would go with this one. I, I guess if I'm living in it and I need a, I don't need more than two bedrooms. I just need two big ones and nice open space downstairs like this one. This is the one to go with. But if you value more the number of bedrooms for whatever reason, then this is definitely not the option for you. You might want to go with the unit next door that we toured first because it has a better uh, setup for to have four bedrooms. Although the downstairs is kind of small, a little bit small for four bedrooms. But to each their own, I'm just giving you my opinion, guys. Here we got a three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, 1,800 square feet. So this is something uh, I like can between the two. This one does not have the bedroom downstairs, but it has a bigger space downstairs, which is good. And then two and a half bathrooms. So powder room downstairs and then two bathrooms all upstairs. There's also the garage, which is open. Two car garage. All of these garages have this extra nook right here, as you can see for extra storage. Powder room is massive. They could have fit a full bathroom down here, but hey, more room, I like it. Usually these homes are gonna come with a luxury vinyl plank or a tile, depending on what they spec down in the house. So it's up to you and what they have available at the time, uh, you know, on what you're going to get, depending on what you're going to get, uh, to either say yes or no to that home. Like this one, for example, has the black cabinets and there are, or dark brown espresso color is what it is. The other ones had, the other one had white and the last one had gray. Usually those are the three colors that they go with, but they're going to change them out. Each unit is going to have a different color, unless they're still at the beginning of the building and you can still choose them in that case they'll allow you to choose which color option between the three. Nice backsplash here, coarse countertops, black cabinets, shaker cabinet, nothing crazy. And then you got the push-in stoves, GE, GE, refrigerator, same as before. Not much to say about that. That's spacious though. Look how much room you have here in between. So I like it, it doesn't feel crowded, just the right amount. And this one has a pantry underneath the stairs as well. Moving up to the second floor. You have two bedrooms in this one, no, three bedrooms, no loft. It's just some extra space. You could technically put in a, a desk in here if you don't want these cabinets. But this is, this is what it comes with. Laundry room is right here. And then, as you can see, the two bedrooms on this side are good size, actually. 10 by 12 with the balcony, this one. So that's nice. This is gonna be your favorite child uh, room, or at least the least crazy one, in case they go outside and somehow fall out or something. This one is locked for some reason, but you can see the size of the balcony here. Second bedroom is bigger. It's a 11 by 11. It's about the same size. Eleven by eleven, ten by twelve. And then right here we have one sink, undermount, 
Over here we have a little shower and tub combo. Yeah, listed in the low 400s to mid uh, 400s for a townhome this size. This is uh, another option with two full bedrooms, so nice size closet as well. Like you really, you get only two bedrooms, I guess, in, uh, in 1,800 square feet, but you don't give up on anything, a room or anything. Well, this one is three bedroom, but the one next door was huge. This one is a kind of uh, something in between the, the first unit that we threw it and the second one. So it's a good balance unit if you need three bedrooms. This is good. The walk-in shower, water closet right there. Oh, nice size bedroom. We're gonna 13 by maybe 12 by 16 right here. Plenty of windows in this one. And then go out, go out to the balcony. It's a private one too. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Again, as I mentioned, I have another two videos of this community that have also a backyard. So you might want to go check those out as well. If you need a small backyard, but nothing crazy. And then there's that next gen option. That was my favorite one because a lot of people need the, need, need the option to rent out part of their house. So having two units for the price of one is huge because that will allow you to rent out part of it. Maybe you can live in a two bedroom on the second floor kind of option. So check that one out. And if you guys need a realtor to help you throughout this, you found this valuable, this uh, video, feel free to reach out to me. All my information is down below in the description. I would love to be your realtor and represent you. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like these, and I'll see you in the next one.